Shortly, the Kenya Defense Forces were alerted of the attack. Two helicopters were dispatched from the Sector 2 Command in Doble, Somalia, to assess the situation in El Ade. Another aircraft that was on its way to Kismayu was diverted to El Ade, and it's the first one that reported the camp was on fire, but could not approach further as the assailants had deployed two anti-aircraft guns near the camp. The safest option was to send in ground troops. We mobilized troops from Mandera, Elwak and Wajia, who immediately embarked on a 10-hour movement to reach the concentration area in Damasa. In the meantime, the air surveillance team spotted Al-Shabaab looting and loading the loot onto trucks. Again, we had to delay our attack on the trucks until they moved out and away from our troops and out of the camp, which they did at 1,200 hours. Ten minutes later and safely away from the KDF troops, the attack against the enemy began. The air bombardments were extended to another two trucks being driven by the Al-Shabaab spotted at 3 p.m. The convoy with more vehicles was engaged by our jets at 1,500 hours. Well, the second convoy moved into the center of Walgadut town and could not be engaged and is still being searched. That evening, the first group of survivors that were moving close to the Kenyan border were rescued by the helicopters. On the second day, the ground troops at Damasa commenced tactical movement towards the El Ade camp. Fire! 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 But there was resistance on the way from Al-Shabaab fighters who had also placed explosives along the route. In the meantime, search, rescue and recovery continued with our helicopters rescuing more survivors. Further, aerial survey confirmed two enemy camps which were destroyed in two waves. Ground troops' advancement continued on the third and fourth days of action, that is Sunday and Monday this week, with the search and rescue operation also continuing and the first group of fallen heroes were airlifted on Monday evening. Al-Shabaab camps were in the meantime being bombarded. We also attacked two Al-Shabaab camps, one in the morning and another in the afternoon, where it was believed that Malim Jano, the leader of the Abu Zubair brigade who led this attack, was killed. It was on Tuesday that the Kenya Defense Forces took full control of the El Ade camp. Ground troops took full control and aircraft brought in reinforcements. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen Live at 9.